So I got this to work. It's using uh, Serial to talk to the TF Mini S. And this thing is insane. Like, it's sampling at uh, 1 kilohertz, like 1 millisecond. And yeah, so if I move my hand back and forth. There you go. 30 is the best. Like, that's the closest it can go. Away. Anyway, this is great. So I'll have to print uh, an adapter mount to attach this to where the uh, the VL sensor used to be. And then I had to uh, solder some taps over here to some serial lines. Because under the board there's too many existing wires. I really like this look. <clears throat> it's like a spider eyes or something, but I decided since I could afford to have this thing under here, because I have that extra I squared C line, I'll just add it. The main reason is this sensor is only as accurate as a foot away at minimum. At minimum. So this sensor here can measure like three inches away, although it's very, it's much less accurate. So that's why I'm going to combine them. And then for the ground panning, the last one, that's what this one will be used for, just to scan the floor. So there's the uh, combined sensor harness slash assembly. I didn't uh, design a new mount that has both of them. I just... Um, attach the Pololu VL whatever underneath I also put a dang this is not working I put tape over it so that the uh, the actual lidar is more emphasized because they look like little eyes I wanted to make a comment about the uh, the old uh, ranging sensor had this uh, socket so you just pull it out um, this is a six header but it only uses four so I follow that same idea with this adapter and then the powers bridge the original I squared C connection is here and then the serial for the LiDAR the TF Mini S is here It was bothering me that the uh, this Pololu sensor wasn't actually LiDAR. I mean, it's a laser ranging sensor, but uh, whether or not it's actually LiDAR seems to be questionable. So I, in the past, I bought one of these uh, TF Minis. This is like an actual LiDAR, supposedly. Uh, and it's like four times the cost, so it's like 40 bucks versus 10 or 12. Anyway, in the past I had it for this uh, uh, sensor fusion project that was like OpenCV, and then it when it would find blobs, uh, I would point this thing at it to figure out how far away they were. It was not very good, but uh, it was a stepping stone project. And anyway, so I took that and swapped it with the... Uh, Perk LiDAR robots, and now it's actually LiDAR. And uh, initially, I only planned to have this sensor on there, but then I was like, I should have this one too because uh, I have the electronics for like the ports or wires, pins. And uh, the other problem is this sensor, as I mentioned before, the lowest it can measure is like 12 feet away, 30 centimeters. So if it hits something like 5 inches, it'll say 12, 12 inches away. So that's what this one is for, and it's primarily for the lower scan, the one that would look at the ground. And then this one, generally 12 feet away is acceptable, and it's more like a forecasting. So I could potentially use the bottom one for the bottom scans, and then the long one for the 
horizontal and above. Above is questionable too, like it's not really useful because the robot is like eight and a half inches tall and like you don't need to know higher than that. But yeah, you can see the difference. 3.6 degree field of view versus 25. So I'll still do that uh, granular scan, but this one scans way faster. It can go up to a kilohertz, like a thousand times a second. Um, but I'll only do like 10 samples, but that means that uh, instead of each sample taking 20 to 30 milliseconds, it'll take uh, like 5 um, and then it's more accurate. So now I'll have to update the code to include this modified distance height from the ground, things like that, because when the robot tilts and when it pitches up and down and sweeps, like there's like a circle and that affects the measured distance from the center of the robot, which is where the IMU center is. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting. I'm just glad I got it to work because uh, the sensor is like UART by default and you have to switch it to I2C and I was messing around with that. I downloaded the Bennywick GUI thing and it wasn't working. It just kept saying like wrong command. So I just went for straight serial because I had code I found for the Raspberry Pi in the past that was written with serial. So I just turned it to Arduino serial and then it works so yeah I'm just glad or yeah I'm glad I thought about this and then now it's like real LiDAR